Y254. Imagine. A very good evening, our view. Welcome to Y244 News. This is Business Tuesday with me, Joy and Dego. And to kick us off today on our news highlights, Kenya's Credit Bank took home the best small medium-sized enterprise partner bank of the year in East Africa at the recent European Global Banking and Finance Awards 2019 held at the United Kingdom. Take a look. in its campaign towards enabling the growth of SMEs in Kenya through its entrepreneurship hub eHub. Formed in 2016, the hub provides a platform where entrepreneurs can engage, learn and find mentors who help them prosper. In addition to this, entrepreneurs have benefited through learning, networking and personalized coaching sessions. The hub has looked at seeking in place system and processes that give business benefits such as being investor ready. And on to other stories, Laikipa County has signed a memorandum of understanding with Nairobi-based K Energy Renewables Company to set up a 6 billion shilling solar power plant in Rumoroti town. Mark Kivava has more. Laikipia Governor Ndiri Tumurevi and K Energy Chief Executive Kinla Dohia on Monday signed the pact for the project expected to kick off early next year. According to the Governor, the location of the county along the equator is very ideal for the continuity of the project due to availability of sunshine throughout the year. Ms. Dohia said the 40 megawatt plant will be constructed in turn. Public Service Youth and Gender Affairs Secretary Margaret Kobia has appointed four members to join the Youth Enterprise Development Fund board amid ongoing reforms to make the struggling agency vibrant. Take a look. In a special gazette notice dated October 16th, Professor Kobio picked Dr. Susan Mambo, Dr. Mugendi Birundi, Ms. Catherine Kasimu, and Mr. Amos Isoy to serve at Fund's board for three years. Their appointment took effect on October 16th. The previous board had been tainted with theft scandals, particularly 180 million shillings allegedly transferred into tranches of shillings 115 million and 65 million shillings to a company identified as Korea. Random Limited. Most of the 180 million shillings stolen from the youth fund was used to purchase luxury homes, pay debts, and line the pockets of powerful individuals, including law firms and companies. And to market produce, earnings from horticultural produce are on the decline as major buyers of Kenya's famed flowers, fresh, fresh vegetables, I beg your pardon, and fruits card speeding. The latest data by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics shows that income from the sales of cut flowers, a key export especially to Europe, has been on the decline this year. Hilary Dereva De has more. Earnings from flowers reduced to 69 billion shillings compared to 77 billion shillings that the subsector and over the same period last year. Earnings from the sale of fruits, on the other hand, remained flat at 10.1 billion shillings over the eight months while vegetable posted a marginal growth to 17.8 billion shillings from 16.8 billion shillings over a similar period last year. The performance by horticulture mirrors that of tea, which has been on a free fall, with the earnings going down to 73.7 billion shillings over the eight months to August this year, a 24% drop from 96.2 shillings over the same period last year. In addition, industry players see the political crisis that United Kingdom is going through as it is seeks to leave the European Union is to a large extent to blame for the decline in horticulture earnings. That those stories are taking us up a small commercial break we'll be right back remember to comment on all our on all our social media platforms i beg your pardon at y244 channel stay tuned y254 imagine 
Welcome back our viewer. And as we continue with other stories, President Uhuru Kenyatta deemed plans to build refinery for Kenyan crude. The president said that Kenya would use the Lamu port for, to export crude oil from the Turkana oil fields, adding that Kenyan's oil would be exported in form of crude. The government had earlier announced plans to build an oil processing facility following assessments that the country's crude oil deposits were insufficient to justify the construction of the refinery. Mr. Kenyatta added and said that the project will be supported by a special economic zone that is expected to attract, in, to attract investors from across the world to undertake various economic activities and create jobs for our people. And on to other matters, the Kenya Revenue Authority used 57 shillings on debt payments, underlining the heavy burden of mounting government borrowing for every 100 shillings that Kenya collected as taxes in the three months to September. Data from the Treasury shows that 214.7 billion was used for loan payments in the first quarter of the financial year, making it the single largest expenditure in the period to September. The repayments accounted for 57% of the 372 billion shillings that the Kenya Revenue Authority collected in taxes in the period under review, denying the state the cash it needs for projects like building roads, power plants, and revamping the health sector. Kenya has ramped up spending in recent years to build a modern railway line, new roads, and electricity plants, driving up borrowing to plug the budget deficit. The public debt crossed the 6 trillion shilling mark in July, up from 1.89 trillion shilling in June 20. 13, a growth that has sparked concerns of the ballooning loans risk cutting the economy due to the huge debt repayment. Right. Lawyer and ICT practitioner Adrian Kamodo has used has sued telecommunication operators for illegally depriving consumers of their unused data bundles. In a complaint filed before Communications and Multimedia Appeals Tribunal, Mr. Kamodo said he was aggrieved by the high cost of data and frustrated by the arbitrary, I beg your pardon, expiry and hard and bundles. He wants the tribunal to order Safaricom, Airtel and Telecom Kenya to furnish him with their current data tariffs or prominently display the current data tariffs on their websites. All right, our viewer, that's what we had prepared for you on our business news desk tonight. My name is Joan Dagua. Have a good night. God bless.